What time is it? Show time! All right. Gotta get to the show. Did you see it a little bit? The, the, the crazy punk rock opening? Yes. Yeah, where was that? That, um, that, <laughs> that happened uh, at, a, at a punk house uh, that was demolished about two weeks after that happened. I was, uh, it was the car-free day um, on Commercial Drive, like 2008 or whatever, and I went down to meet some friends who I never ended up meeting because I became like just entranced with this like free spirit. Uh, this dude who was just dancing in front of the stage and he was uh, n pretty much naked except for a, a tiny uh, uh, underwear. It wasn't a swimsuit. It was one of those where you're like... Like a pouch? Just a thing. A little, very small. Yeah, yeah. And uh, rollerblades. Hey. Safety last. <laughs> Are you sure it wasn't 1991? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But I, uh, I was just vibing with him. I was like, who is this guy? Uh, and uh, so I started dancing with him, because that's what you do when you're like, what's going on with this? And then, um, and then he offered me this peace pipe. And it was a beautiful, like, hand-carved, long pipe. And where the hell did it come from? I don't know. <laughs> he had no yeah. pockets. Yeah. He had no things. But he pulled out this beautiful, <laughs> I don't out. know. It, was, it wasn't there, and then it was there, Graham. <laughs> Not sure. And the next thing I know, I was at this punk house, like, painting on the wall. And those, those aren't my clothes, either. Like, I've never seen those, like, that hat before. <laughs> that was never a phase I went through, where I wore those hats and pearls or whatever those were. Do I don't you know and that I'm... guy keep in touch? No. Oh, that's too bad. I, I think, like, I swear, it was, he's like a mythical <laughs> creature. I don't know if it happened. Yeah. You know? It may not have happened, but we have video evidence that it kind something of happened. Something ha Yeah. I mean, at least some, yeah, something happened. <laughs> 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 Paul, I'm honored to be here on oh. the sev seven years of this crazy show. <laughs> and running a show, is, it's a beast, right? It is a beast. And I think it started that way with just, like, uh, poor choices and, like, <laughs> just weirdos. And someone had a camera and they were taping. And yeah. I got an email link saying, here's the thing that we taped. And I'm like, this will be our opening. That's amazing that they, that they sent, like, they were professional on Enough that to, end. Right. Because, you know. Someone had a camera. You know, there's always someone in the flop house that wants to be a filmmaker, right? <laughs> oh, man, this will be great. If you see, like, as we walk in, there's just, like, there's a disgusting kitchen, and then there's like a pile of, uh, a pile, there's a garbage bag full of like day old bagels or like 20 day old bagels or whatever. <laughs> that was always in like punk house in the 90s. It would just be like, the, look what we scored. Look, dude, yeah. we don't have to pay for food. <laughs> Those squares <laughs> totally. with their day fresh oh. bagels. Disgusting. <laughs> Oh, wow. That's... <laughs> what was the smell like? Oh, yeah. yeah. No, no. <laughs> Please welcome to the interview set uh, 3v1. <laughs> Come on, have a seat. So far, you're killing it. You gave me the playlist. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, 
Uh, hey, thank you very, 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 very. Oh. Hey, thanks very much for being here. <laughs> um, now, where did you guys meet? Just kidding. That's what we usually ask bands when we have on here, but we're going to save some time by not asking that question. Um, does, uh, does anyone see my clipboard around? <laughs> it's like, a little moment. Oh, thanks. Oh, perfect. Oh, thank you. Ace. Ace, Ace everybody. to the rescue. Ah, I don't need that. Oh, how did you meet? <clears throat> Funny joke. Um, <laughs> but uh, seriously, how, how did it begin? We know that, um, I'm guessing you guys live in the same house. How did this start? How did you start playing together? Please tell us. Well, music was something that we all always enjoyed. But and then what happened is once our dad decided to buy us rock band, we realized once we played together that it was actually really fun. So it just kind of went on from there. Like the video game rock band? Yep. So wait a second. Okay. <laughs> so you're playing a video game and you realize doing this in real life would be more fun? Yep. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, let, I'm just glad they weren't playing Grand Theft Auto at the time, right? <laughs> it be a very different show right now. Yeah, you're killing it. Uh, now, what are, uh, what are some of the benefits of having a band with your siblings? <laughs> Pass the wow, mic. Yeah. It's easier to get together. <laughs> Well, that's true. I mean, that's true. It'd be hard to be. I find it like I always imagine it being like, oh yeah, we should meet at your place. It's like, oh sorry, I got homework. Oh sorry, I have a test tomorrow. It's like, right. Oh. Yeah, totally. You're just right there. You're like, uh, I finished dinner. Did you finish dinner? <laughs> <laughs> um, Jacob, is there a song that you wanted to play that your brother and or sister went no that you can think of? I don't think I could think of any. Oh, I think uh, Aaron has one. What did you want to play? And your brothers and sisters were like, uh uh. He just wanted the mic. <laughs> right? It's not an ice cream cone. <laughs> Give him back the mic. He's got something to say. I can feel it. I can feel it. It's just, it might take a second. Was there a song that you really wanted to play? It feels like he's holding the conch, you know what I mean? <laughs> this is my favorite moment so far. <laughs> Do you not dare take the microphone. Give it back to Aaron. We're going to get something out of it. Take your time. Take your time. Uh... <laughs> well, you guys want to play some songs? Yes, please. Okay. Please welcome to the stage my favorite sounding band with the name I love. <laughs> 3v1!
Watch it burn old, but I'm not that old, young, but I'm not that bold, and I don't think the world is so just do what we're told. I feel something so wrong, doing the right thing. I could lie, could lie, could lie. Everything that drowns me makes me want to fly. Makes me feel like Thank you so much. Yeah, three v oh. one, everybody. Let him hear it. Oh. Sure, let him hear it. Hey, look at that. That's me. That's me. Come on. That was great. Right. That was incredible. Uh, did anyone dress up? We're looking for the best dressed uh, in the house. Get on up here, quick. Uh, except yeah. for the gentleman of fortune, you guys all look impeccable. This, this guy. I saw this guy Anyone in the lobby. Oh, this wow. Guy. Oh, yeah. wow. Okay, come this on This guy's up. bringing an A game. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yes. Yeah, does anybody yes. want to be the runner-up to this uh, guy? Can anyone else even compete? <laughs> this is it. <laughs> wow. What's your name again? Kane. Kane, nice to see you. We just recently became Facebook friends. It's true. Wow, and now we're... No, proper invites. You look great. Fantastic. Well, uh, we're not going to belabor the point. Here is uh, a bunch of creams. And um, uh, there's, the, <laughs> there's the thing. Uh, I don't know. I guess the, if the massage thing isn't in there, hey, you can just Facebook me. Is this Make part? sure we hook it up. Uh, oh. Oh, yeah, that must be it. There it is. Yeah. A lucky town time winner wins a free massage. That's pretty great, right? I'm looking forward to some sensual touching. You'll get it. Yeah. You will get it. Take care, man. You keep no dressing problem. like that, you'll get it anyway. That's incredible. Yeah. I just want to go pick up some vegetables dressed like that. <laughs> I, I, want, I always wanted to have like an on-the-street kind of guy yes. going to things yes. and stuff. So uh, I really like his uh, interviews and stuff. Uh, so please, anyways, we're going to meet him for the first time. Please welcome Spotlight Jake. Come on up, Spotlight, Spotlight Jake. Jake. Let's get in here. You can push with me. Spotlight Jake. All right. Oh, watch yourself. There you <laughs> oh, my second favorite moment so far. How you doing, Jake? I'm doing good. How about you? I'm excellent. Oh, so when did you start acting? Um, let's see. I started as an actor, I would say, 10 years ago. I just finished doing something called Human Library over at the now, Push that's Festival. That's really interesting. Because uh, I met you just when you started doing that. Uh, for people who don't know what the Human Library is, can you tell us what that is? Uh, yes, it was a kind of an um, innovative um, kind of interactive theater experience that was created by in uh, Copenhagen, Denmark. And... Um, by a group called Stop the Violence. And what it basically is, is with Human Library, and I mean there's hundreds of them all over the world at this point, 
um, what happens is, is you go into a library and you go to a regular kind of circulation desk and um, you pick out a human book. And so what basically happens is, is you meet up with your book in the library. So they have the reader, then they have the book. And um, that book is a certain subject. In my case, it was um, autistic actor because I'm a person with autism. And basically what would happen is, is I would do kind of a 10 minute um, talk telling my story, kind of how acting really helped me to be able to communicate with other people better, to become kind of more um, sociable because I had a lot of trouble with that when I was younger. And then they'd be able to ask the books uh, questions. So this would be kind of a 20 minute thing and then they'd switch up and bring in another uh, Another reader, yeah. That's pretty good. So your your uh, your title was autistic actor, so they can like take you out like a book. That's right. Of, yeah. Got it. Um, Graham, what do you think your book would be if you had a if you had uh, a title yourself in like two led two? The joy of sex. <laughs> <laughs> with with graphics. <laughs> what about you, Taz? What would be your book? Chips in bed. <laughs> <laughs> That's, That's part good. of the joy of sex. <laughs> good one. Yeah. It's true. Put it's them a, together. It's a sequel. <laughs> <laughs> Those sound interesting, and your books sound interesting, but when I went to check it out, there were some books that I was like, I don't want to check out that book. Yeah, some of them were quite strange. We had a uh, bearded... Um, a bearded uh, drag queen. We That's had cool. a transgendered poet. That's we had, uh, yeah, it was a lot of very interesting I'm cool with people. All this. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, but I saw one that I was like, uh, that seemed kind of like a nightmare. It was uh, open relationship. Oh yes, because yes, it that just one. seemed like the conversation you just wouldn't want to get into at a party or something, where someone's <laughs> just like, "See my wife? She's pretty hot, eh?" <laughs> Very hot. Don't you think my wife's pretty hot? She's great with her hands. You know what I mean? And you're just like, I don't want to be in this conversation. Yeah. But then you're stuck in a cubicle, and they're going like, well, what are you doing later? This is only for 20 minutes. Like, it just seems like... <laughs> seems like, I don't know. Um, well, look, I, uh, I saw your... Uh, uh, you go out and do reviews. Um, uh, yeah, Spotlight Jake, yeah. Spotlight yeah. Jake. And, um, and you'd cover, I, I guess, uh, a lot of... Uh, events in, uh, in and around uh, that community, possibilities and stuff like that? Yeah, kind of, uh, you know, different, I'm a media arts correspondent, you know, for many different uh, organizations and uh, go to various events in, uh, well, Vancouver, Burnaby, New West, you know. So uh, we just thought we'd s send you out a couple times and just see, see what works, because we have a community uh, variety show. Why not, uh, you know, I, I'd like to include as many people uh, in this crazy thing as possible. So uh, let's see what happened last week. You went out to Weird Al Karaoke at the Little Mountain uh, Gallery. Yes. Let's check it out. Awesome. Video, please. Folks, this is Spotlight Jake coming to you from the Little Mountain Gallery here in downtown Vancouver. Now, this is a bunch of comedians writing weird out type carry up parody songs. Oh, nice. And singing them themselves here at Little Mountain. with uh, Nima here, one of the uh, comedians tonight at the uh, Little Mountain Gallery. Have you ever written your own music before, or is this the first time? No, this is a first. Wow. I hope it's not the last time. Are you the solution of sweet serpentine? Have you uh, been to kind of an event like this before? Kind of a. Uh, yeah. I'm yeah. a little mountain patron. Yeah. Oh, good. Yeah. How about yeah. you? I've been here throughout the years so many times. In Vancouver, like people say, like nothing happens, blah blah blah. But there's so much talent, and people do stuff, and it's awesome. <laughs> Want to play the room and kill me and be the 
So, uh, what was your favorite act tonight? Ah, uh, I loved, uh, I pretty much loved everything. Great to meet you, Spotlight Jake. Yeah. <laughs> Spotlight Jake at Weird Al Karaoke. Happens this uh, last Saturday every month at the Little Mountain Gallery. Hey! Graham hey, yeah. Clark reads the phone book! Hey! Hello! Um, now here's the thing. About this is a Vancouver uh, phone book, and uh, there's kind of like a community uh, magazine in the front. There's kind of information that's not just phone numbers. There's maps in case you're lost but also have your phone book. <laughs> you're like, ah, oh, no, I know where we are. <laughs> and then there's a whole area of community information. And this, I think, is only in a Vancouver phone book, but it's got a, a page, uh, community info with the title, uh, People and Bears Can Live Together. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Call me old-fashioned, you know? <laughs> but I think bears and people, separate, right? <laughs> separate but equal, but separate. <laughs> Someday that's really gonna date me as a performer, when everybody's just living with bears and they'll be like, remember? <laughs> you bigot. <laughs> Here's the thing, this is a real fun thing you can do uh, with the phone book, is I, uh, I can do like a like a reading for you, like a psychic reading, using just the phone book. Now, is anybody brave enough to have their future told? There we go. This gentleman right there. You don't have to move out of your seat. What's your name, sir? Ben. Hey, Ben. How you doing? Great, thank you. Okay. All right, Ben. Here's how it's gonna work. Is I'm gonna flip through the phone book. You tell me when to stop. Okay. I'm gonna start from the front this time, Ben, and uh, you tell me where to stop, okay? Okay, Cypress Property Inspections. You got that? What is it? Cypress Property Inspections. One more time, Ben. Cypress Property Inspections. Okay, all right, here we go from the back. Ready? I need you to remember Point Grey Plumbing and Heating. Okay. What was the first one? Cypress Property Inspections. Yep. And the second one is Point Grey Property Inspections. No, no, <laughs> uh, no! Point Grey Plumbing and Heating, Ben. I can't stress this enough. One was Property Inspections, the other is Plumbing and Heating. So what is it from the top? Yeah. Point Grey Plumbing and Heating. Okay, now we go from the middle. Don't you applaud for him. Okay, we're flipping. You tell me when to stop, all right? Okay. Uh, Mountain View Dental Center. Mountain View Dental. Okay, so give me the three. Cypress Property Inspection. Yep. Point Grey Plumbing and Heating. Yep. And Mountain Dental. Now, very good. Now, Ben, does any of that sound familiar? <laughs> the book has spoken. Just to win one hundred dollars. Okay. Close your eyes. Tell me for we. I will give you one hundred dollars. 
if you can tell me what 20th century icon appears on the socks of our very talented videographer, Sarah Walden. 20th century icon? <laughs> Brian Adams. <laughs> 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 I kind of just want to give him a hundred dollars, yeah. <laughs> but I won't. But I won't. But I will give you something else. Come to the merch booth right after that. That sounds so weird, but I will. I'm going to give you a prize, but it's not a hundred dollars. Can you lift up your socks there, Sarah, and tell us, show us who's on your? That's Albert Einstein. Albert Einstein. I didn't make the rules. The Brian Adams of science. <laughs> That's right. One hundred dollars! Who thinks they can win one hundred dollars? The incredible gentlemen of fortune! Life of 